as we get set to continue our coverage of this round one playoff matchup. The 76 are shooting in this game, 45%. J.R. Smith and LeBron at the two and three. Parker out there with Mazda. And it's Irving at the point. That's the five for Cleveland right now. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And Greg, you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. The 76ers trail by eight. Bogic kicks to Thompson. Back to Drogic. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. Here's Parker. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And how's that for some ups coming from that? Uh, he is a rarity among NBA point guards in his ability to elevate. Yeah, his athletic ability, guys, is really what takes him a notch above most players at his position. Timeout call the Cavaliers. You know, obviously, you know, there's some things out there he does not like and wants to talk it over. Well, Greg, you've played. You um, envision yourself as a coach as well. So, you know, sometimes you um, make some adjustments. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard David Blatt as he addressed his team. He told his team to keep looking for three-point opportunities, saying their perimeter defense isn't doing a good job getting out on our shooters. So let's keep firing away until they decide to guard us. And as always, Doris, thank you. It's LeBron with the drive, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. And he just big boy right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way they got to figure out how to contain him. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're losing by eight. 146 left in the fourth quarter. Forty-six left to play here in the fourth. And bead the screen. Irving against Dragic. He feeds it to Noel. Shot is off. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Here's Parker out to Smith. For the three. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got five assists in the game be demoralized. They desperately need to stop. Instead, they give up a triple on an open look. No good from Trogic. Boy, they were ready for him right there. I mean, he totally collapsed the defense on him. The drive by Smith. Irving passes to Smith. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. In a moment, now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Cavaliers. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. They've also been pounding it inside tonight and coming away with a lot of points in the paint. I call those PIPs. And Philadelphia making a change here. Okafer's checked in. And there's Marshall. That's good on the edge just by Irving. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. And hey guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted. It was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Parker. You look at the energy he brought on both ends of the floor, and it's easy to see why he was a difference maker. Mozgov kicks to Parker. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. James goes to the reverse layup and hits it in. Didn't take their time. 